Fire on Angel Island by Karen and Hui Li. For the Chinese immigrants detained on Angel Island. Waiting for a word on our incarceration, we carve the cells, first brushing our grief, then bleeding our injury with knives. When white officials plaster over the words, we carve the flesh of our walls again, then leave their weathering to time, exposed to the bone. Mailing a letter is out of the question with surveillance. Besides, who knows whether it will arrive? Barred access to freedom. We send hope to our overseas families, in the spirit of ash to ash. One who interprets dreams says, "My soul is no longer incarcerated here. It flies back to my loved ones, who welcome me at the river." Another says. One day, this prison will catch fire; everything will burn. Our misery will depart in exile from Gold Mountain. Yet it returns to share with you, reader. In fact, Angel Island did burn in our lifetime. The women's barracks destroyed by fire. In light of Gold's irony, I write this as an offering to their flames, in memory. This island is a domain of real angels and sagebrush, not xenophobia. It burns with a vengeance mixed with the toxic ash of exclusion.